Gentlemen, how the hell are we doing? Today is Wednesday, which is my Friday, so guess what? This guy's got three days off coming up. Yep. So, <laughs> um, with uh, in light of today, Ohio, at least here, we hit 54 degrees, which is like a complete tropical heat wave compared to the high of like 7 degrees we had like just four or five days ago. So in light of that, I'm going to be shaving today with Cave Shave Works Key Lime Barber Shop. This is in collaboration with the South Florida Wet Shavers. Awesome scent. I, I don't know what else to say about it, but it, it's just an amazing scent. Um, the gear we're going to be using today, the Gold Dollar 66, courtesy of friend Anthony Esposito. Thank you again. And the brush, let's bring this out just a bit, still working on this thing, love it, 3824 Savile Row. So, with that being said, I'm going to wet the face, and I'm going to use a little of this pre-shave, or a little bit of this bloom water as the pre-shave. And we'll roll with that as opposed to the cube today. So we'll see if, how that does for us. Uh, definitely build up a little pre lather, if you will. So good deal there. Move this out of the way. By the way, I didn't say it before, we do have the matching aftershave as well. Wait, it's over there. Yeah, this thing is so white, I mean, I can barely make it out myself, you know. So, put it this way. It looks just like a mini version of that right there. So, just use your imagination. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get to loading the brush. And this soap is tallow-based, so... Um, it does definitely provide for one hell of a slick protection, if you will. And, like I said, I, I really don't mind loading the hell out of this brush. This is a, I mean, like I said, it's a tallow-based soap. It's a little bit harder, so I wouldn't you know, feel any bit reserved about loading the hell out of the brush. I'm just going to get the excess out of here. Just rub this in a little bit. And, and you know, I, I'd say this, you know, just like Emerald would when he's cooking, you know, it, with some of these soaps, I just, it's too bad you don't have smell vision you know, because this whole room just smells like this key lime pie, if you will. Alright, so, let's get to it. Obviously, we're going to need to add some water. It's going on a little thick, but not too shabby. I mean, it's... I like K-Shave Works soaps are real easy to dial in. It's not, you know, a fight to... <laughs> you know, back and forth, water, and everything else. I mean, I'm not going to say it's as easy to lather as tobacco, which that stuff, you know, has been around for a long time for a reason. Which, for those of you who didn't see, that was my last video, it was me using tobacco. I, um, we got a new soap in the mail yesterday, or no, was it today? I can't even remember. You know, working third shift, sometimes your days are just a little thrown off. But, um, one of the things I'll be using probably tomorrow 
we got the AME the Novelist, which another great scent. Actually, this is the club. Sorry, not A and E. Same thing. I hope this is. You know what? Uh, oh. Just to make sure that we don't get anything cracking. Good enough for me. Alright. So, get rid of the cap for pass number one. Get the alum block action going real quickly. And like I said, that's just something that works for me. If it doesn't, if it's not something you need to do, by all means, don't bother. This just gives me a little bit more control. So, get the end of the digits here. You know, the runways, if you will. We can get going. Okay, so pass number one with the green. And looks like I might have hit that another one of those zits. If not, good deal. Yeah, she's definitely cutting. So, with today being hump day, hopefully you guys' this week is going well. Like I said, my, my work week starts on Sunday night, so... It's uh, kind of a nice gig, you know, you're in there, you get your 10 hours in, and that's right about... The time I'm leaving is right about the time most of the brass is showing up. So, it's, like I said, it's kind of a quiet night. <laughs> hmm. You guys, if you get the chance, and K Shave Works is on your radar, scoop it up. Oh, I do see it from time to time. People are asking about it on the buy, sell, and trades, and and I know it's sold through West Coast Shaving. That might be the only place you can get it, unless you find somebody that's selling theirs. I also think they they have their own Facebook page which can direct you to wherever you need to go if you're wanting to buy some of their stuff.
It's always a little awkward on that side. Why is it awkward? Because I'm not right handed. <laughs> I think through my whole life, aside from you know certain things that I had to use my right hand for my old job being an electronics technician and you know rewiring things, straight razor shaving has probably <laughs> been the most beneficial towards you know getting better dexterity with my right hand. So just kind of, I'll say this, the one, one, one of few things I do right-handed, I do shoot a gun right-handed. Um, I just don't feel comfortable, you know, pulling from a holster on my left side. Um, I, so, I guess my uh, gun training, or firearms training, not only through the military, but in the civilian world has has also been something to help develop on the right hand, so not a bad first pass, guys. I'm going to put you on hold, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight. And welcome back, children of the Kearns. Alright, so we're going to hit the final pass. Um, I did, I've been trying something I started today. I'm going to try doing an against the grain on the cheeks off camera in between so um, I'm just trying to see if that helps any better as far as um, underneath the mask at work. On days that I don't work it's obviously just two passes like I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. So just so that uh, we got the whole full disclosure out, not that you guys are missing anything per se. Um, At the same time, I'm saving a little bit of airtime because, you know, 30-minute shave video with somebody either talking or not talking is going to be boring and people are going to turn the channel off. So, or watch something else. So, I'm trying to keep it as engaging as possible. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Any which way. So we're going to go now across the grain on the face and against on the neck. So here we go. By the way, for those of you who do end up commenting or comment on any of my videos, my wife, kids, and I are trying to debate on where to go for vacation this summer. Um, the, uh, the debate right now, and I'm not much of a beach bum vacation person, so if, if that's going to be one of your suggestions, kind of, I won't say hold your tongue, we might still end up going somewhere near Myrtle Beach. Um, The main reasons for our little guy Grant, um, we have grown fond of going up to New England, and New England's still on the table. Uh, there's a place up in Maine um, near Bar Harbor that is nice that we were contemplating going to, but if you guys want to throw up a suggestion. <laughs> I'm trying to stay within about a 12 hour drive from where we live. I don't know why I'm having a little trouble with this today. I guess it's part of it's keeping it flat and the soap is kind of almost doing this. So, oh well. Alright, back to the neck.
and no worries about any bloops with this. I mean, I'd, I'd like to think that I hydrated this enough. This is one of those soaps, it's, it's almost like the KISS concept, you know, keep it simple, stupid. This soap, it's easy to lather almost right away. So it's, for somebody who's coming into the hobby, I know that they sell through the razor company too, now that I think about it. Um, K-Shave Works soaps are not only good as far as protecting the face, great sense, but it is like ridiculously easy to lather. So it's, like I said, it's almost up there with the likes of Tabac. I think Tabac is one of the easiest. That's just my opinion, you know, and on a, you know, if we're going on a scale of 1 to 10, to back probably being one of the easiest to lather, Mitchell's Wool Fat is by far and away the 10. It is one of the most finicky soaps. In order to lather, because, you know, Right when you think you just need to add a little bit more water and then all of a sudden you drown it out. This soap is, you know, almost ready to rock and roll right from the get-go. That's getting that little bit right here on the jawline. You can see just a little bit more right here, which sometimes you wouldn't believe how changing the expression on your face or just mm, will just completely alleviate difficulty of getting a pesky spot. Back here. And I'd say we are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a damn good shave. Other than, uh, I got a few weepers here and there, but nothing bad. Nothing I didn't expect because those have kind of been around this week. Um, I may take tomorrow off, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know I have to shave first thing in the morning on Saturday because my son has his sectional wrestling tournament, which is um, step one on the road to going to state. So hang tight real quick, guys. I'm going to rinse up and we'll be right back for the post-shave. All right, so as you can tell by the looks of my shirt here, we got a nice rinse going on. Got a nice rinse today, so um, cold water rinse usually always helps with any of these tiny little weepers you might have. I, I haven't fortunately had to use a styptic on anything today, which is always a plus. So, gonna go with some Thayer's Witch Hazel. If, uh, if today's any indication that the weather is warming up, then I might not be rocking the unscented balm for too much longer. But, you know, with it getting back down into the low 30s for the night, I mean, I think it's supposed to be in the 50s again tomorrow. So, almost all the snow is finally melted, which is a big plus. The other thing, my wife gave me one bit of good news, and I know that. You guys might think this is insignificantly stupid. I have a sump pump in my backyard because the kind of the shape down like this and you know whatever. And there's a spot that water just collects and then it'll work its way towards the house. So I dug this big ass hole, put a whole bunch of holes in a rain bar or a big plastic barrel, and buried a sump pump. And it's three quarter horse and it shoots that shit <laughs> up to my downspouts on the street. So the good news was, that didn't freeze. So, <laughs> any which way. Enough of my stupid stuff. Um, 
onto the unscented. I was kind of waiting for that pear's witch hazel to kind of dry and didn't want to wipe it off. Ugh. And then we'll go with their matching splash. The case, uh, can you read there? Maybe you can. Okay. And this stuff is, like I said, this was a collaboration with K-Shave Works and the South Florida Wet Shavers. So, one of the upstanding mem members, John Romanoff, one of my mentors in this wet shaving journey, um, had suggested this soap and it was a very good suggestion. Awesome stuff. So, today we went with... K Shave Works, Key Lime Barbershop. We had the matching splash, which I just showed you a second ago. 3824 Savile Row, and the Gold Dollar 66. So, I'm going to finish getting ready for work, guys. You guys have a great night, and I will most likely talk to you guys tomorrow, which you're going to see this Thursday. So, we'll see you. You'll see me probably either tomorrow night or Friday. You guys have a good one. Keep your shaves clean. Keep them wet. Later, guys.